All right, you that are here, you that are watching, you know what time it is. It's time to go to the gym. It's time to go to the gym now. It's time to go to boot camp. I give you time. Look, go run to your bedroom, get your Bible. You told me to wait a minute? All right, all right. Go ahead. Go on to run to your bedroom. You got to go downstairs? What? Hurry up. Are you back? All right. Open your Bible. <laughs> to 1 Corinthians. Chapter 1. Verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and at verse 10. I want all my viewers to pay close attention. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this scripture will help you to better understand why this message is being preached so forceful. Amen. God Almighty have one way. That's right. There's not two ways to be right with God. No. <clears throat> one standard. One law, one teaching, one gospel, one doctrine, one people, one God. That's right. One thing for everybody. That's what God did. He set up one thing. Man come along with all these different religions right. being moved by the devil. Right. And being moved by the devil, what he chose to do is simply cause confusion. That's it. You know you go to some restaurants, you got an open buffet. All you can eat. <laughs> and you get you can choose whatever meat you want. It's long ribs, short ribs, catfish, tilapia, haddock, codfish, swordfish, nuggets. <laughs> all type of things. But God Almighty didn't set up nothing like that. God have one thing and didn't leave it to the preacher to prepare it. That's right. So the preacher is wrong who prepares sermons and sit up through the week and then wait till the weekend to get his paperwork together and then put a text on it. That's right. Put the text on it. The, 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 the wheat is golden. <laughs> Give it a title. That's right. The preacher is nothing but a waiter. God gave him the message to serve it. It is not his place to prepare it for the people. God does that and done it well. That's right. Now listen, television viewers, I want to show you this from God's word. Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. All right. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Do you hear it? Amen. God Almighty is laying order here. That's right. God is laying order. Religious leader, church member, mosque goer, right. synagogue attendee. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what the word of God says? That ye all speak the same thing. Now... I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. By what? By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we should do what? That ye all speak the same thing. And when that happened, what is the result? And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together. How? In the same mind. And what else? And in the same judgment. Glory to God. Amen. He command that all men right. speak the same thing. Speak the same thing as who? By the name of our Lord speak Jesus Speak the same Christ. thing that God spoke. That's right. It is written which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. That's right. Then it was confirmed unto us that heard him. That's now right. the apostles and the prophets heard him. And they confirmed unto us by writing under the inspiration of God what they heard. That's right. Now, viewer, ask yourself the question. If God Almighty inspired his word, and he did, 
and the truth of the message is in the word. Right. Why is it that so many men mm-hmm. are different from the same word that's on their podium? That's right. Why is that? That's right. How how is it? Ask the question. That's right. And even God asked the same question. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 26. 1 Corinthians 14, 26 says. How is it then, brethren? Look at here. Amen. How is it then, brethren? When ye come when together. When you come together. Every one of you. Wait a minute. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you what? Hath a, hath a song. Have a song. Hath a doctrine. Hath a doctrine. Hath a tongue. Have a tongue. Hath a revelation. Have a revelation. Hath an interpretation. You have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. Now hold it. Let's backtrack and read it again. How is it then, brethren? That's my question. <laughs> Baptist, Methodist, mm-hmm. Presbyterian, Amen. Lutheran, non-denominational, mm-hmm. Christian science, Amen. apostolic, All of these different churches Right here in Harrisburg Look at the amount of churches you have Yeah. Right in America Look at the amount of churches you have You go to New York You better watch them today in New York Right. Churches right next door to each other That's right Right across the street That's right Sometimes five churches rent the same building That's right And got five different services With five different beliefs That's right That's true you're the same parking lot. That's right. Come out a Christian five different ways. Amen. Am I right, I say? Amen. God have a problem with this kind of thinking. That's right. Do you hear? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brethren? When you come together. When you come together. Every one of you has a song. Now hold it, hold it, just a minute. Every one of you have a song. Now think of it. Here's one brother singing, God is not dead, he's yet alive. Another brother is saying, uh, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. <laughs> Another brother is saying, Rock of Vegas, just for me. Let me do something with my liberty. That's right. If you get five men or five women singing at the same time, but all five is singing something different, different. would you not look at them with a very strange look, That's right. wanting to know, you know, like where this is going? What's going on? Because something's happening that should not be happening. Amen. If all of these brothers get up after Deuteronomy says, Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 6 and 4, Mm -hmm. read that quickly. I want to make an example. Amen. Listen. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. Says what? Hear. Hear, O Israel. Hear. Hear. Hear, O Israel. O Israel. The Lord. The Lord. Our God. Our God. Is one Lord. See, in other words, God said that. And then all of us supposed to come after God and say the same thing. That's right. Now, Apostle Paul said there in Corinth, you have what? How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you hath a son. And what else? Hath a doctrine. Hold it. Every one of you. You have a what? Hath a doctrine. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. I want to give you good doctrine. Mm-hmm. That the scripture says. That's right. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is this, one Is Lord. how many? One Lord. All right. Brother Minister James. Mm-hmm. Stand up, James. Mm-hmm. It says how many lords it is? One Lord. Now here's James going to get up after he read that and says he got three. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Brother Minister Raj, stand up Raj. He's going to come along and say, no, no, he's wrong. I see two. Amen. There's just Jesus and the Father. That's right. Brother Minister Facente from Portland, he's going to get up and say, well, you both of you fellas is wrong because I had a great divine experience. Right. Now, when I saw, I saw five. That's right. Now, all three of them is ignoring what God said. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is what? One Lord. And now, remember, he's a Baptist. Right. He's a Pentecostal. Right. He's a non-denomination. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. Here's my brother, Pastor Taylor. Stand up, Brother Taylor. From New Jersey. He's going to look at all three of them and say, you know what? All of y'all is wrong because I, ne- I live near by the water. And I, my revelation came to me from the sea. Amen. 
And the revelation is, is not two, it's not three, it's not even one. It's no God at all. And everything I said, there's some religion that's professing all of it. All of it. That's right. There are religions that say there is no God. That's right. There are religions that say it's five. Right. There are religions that say there's two right. and three. Amen. Every one of you has a doctrine. Viewers, and some of you that are here, you go to these churches. Yeah. Where they have a picture of an old man with a long beard that's supposed to be God. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Holding a little fat, pudgy knee, rosy cheek baby that's supposed to be Jesus. That's right. And next to this little fat stuffing is a dove. Yes. That's supposed to be the Holy Ghost. That's right. Oh, you're getting what I'm telling you. That's right. All of this teaching came after the perfect God spoke clear. Hear, O Israel. Now, hold it. Let's establish how many gods it is. Let's travel. In Deuteronomy 6 and verse 4. We already read that. Let's travel. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. Let's find out is there another God with the one. See now that I. God talking. See now. God talking. That's right. God's talking. That's right. He says, see now. Give chapter and verse again. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. God says, see, see when? Now. See now. He wants you to look now. Now. This is after you done told your lies, viewers. God wants you to come back and see what he see. That's right. When, when do you want us to look, Lord? Now. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. What did the Holy Book say? See now. See now. That I. Hold it. I. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am he. Am he. And. And. There is no God with me. Is God intelligent? Yeah. Amen. Talk back to me, church. Yeah. Do God know all things? Yeah. Is God everywhere? Yes. So would he know if there's another God next to him? Would he know? Would he know whether there was a little God behind him? That's right. Glory to God, I want to slap you right into 2013. Amen. See now. How is it? Mm -hmm. Trinitarians Everyone. and three God believers. That's right. You can't even look in heaven. That's right. What did you do to see three? Three. What lens are you using? Oh, yes. You can't even see around the corner. That's right. How did you come up with three? Three. That's right. Do you hear what God said? See now. Look now. That I. That I. Even I. Even I. Am he. Am he. And there is no God with me. He cleared it up. That's right. So why are you God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three, these three are one. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? That's right. Let me, let me, let, 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 slow, let me slow it down in slow motion. Slow, slow it down. Doing. That's right. Now I know some of you upset tonight because that's what you do at your Catholic church. Go ahead. That's right. Who should we pray to? And what should we pray to? That's right. Many of you that are watching, thank God, and some of you that are here. You are raised praying to St. Michael, St. Anthony, St. Sarah, St. Charles, St. Cunningham, St. Fred, St. Barney. 
yes. praying to Mother Teresa. That's right. The mother of Jesus in the scriptures said, whatsoever he says, that's right. Do it. Do it. We become polytheistic. We will believe that a statue is God before we accept That's that right. God is God. That's right. Look how lightheaded we are. That's true. All someone have to say, oh man, my the statue bleeds. Yes. It's just in, instantly pilgrimage. Do you remember when the woman said she had a bag of Cheetos? My Lord. And one of the Cheetos looked like the Virgin Mary. And she put the small Cheetos in a glass case. Everybody came to look at Cheetos. My Lord. There was a farmer that was growing potatoes. And he said one of the potatoes, the face of Mary was in it. People travel as far as Rome to his house Amen. to look at his white potatoes. My Lord. <laughs> the devil make mockery of the ignorant. That's right. The devil don't want nobody to know who God is. That's right. Because if you learn God, you learn about the devil. That's right. Because the knowledge of God will teach you about the devil. That's right. If the devil is a liar from the beginning in which he is, you have to learn how he functions. Amen. He will keep you ignorant. Mm -hmm. Amen. He will keep you blind. He will cause you to befriend an ignorant person. That's true. So you can exchange ignorance that you call revelation. That's right. When Jesus sent his apostles out, he sent them all out with the same thing. Same thing. Whenever God appeared to the prophets, it ain't none of them seen more than one. No, they didn't. What did God say in Deuteronomy? See now that I, I, even I, am he. And what? And there is no God with me. What do he do? I kill. We kill. I kill. God talking. I kill. God says, I kill. And I make a lie. I make a lie. I kill. Look at the singular. Amen. I wound. And I heal. And I heal. I. I. Keep traveling, son. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I want to establish the one God, mm -hmm. and I want to establish mm -hmm. who is this one God. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 15. You see, God is the foundation of the truth of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. One God. You can talk about faith, you can talk about healing, you can shout, you can speak in tongue, but brother, God is the foundation of truth. That's right. And if you don't have the understanding of God right, that's it. Then you don't have your so-called truth right. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. You can go to church, raise your hands in the air, and wave them like you just don't care. Amen. But if you don't have your understanding of God right, yes, then you don't have your religious order right. That's right. You first got to establish how many gods it is. Isaiah 43 and verse 15. Listen. I am the Lord. Oh my, look at, look at the language. Amen. I. I am the Lord. Am the Lord. Your holy one. Your holy three. Your holy one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amen. I want you that are here, listen to me very well. Give the chapter and the verse again. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 15. Follow me in the Bible, chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 15. What did it say? I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Your holy one. All right, viewers, where did this song come from? Mm -hmm. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, God That's in right. three persons, That's right. blessed Trinity. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. 
Go ahead. I have to end it like that because it sickens me just to sing it. <laughs> Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Viewers, mm -hmm. the phrase Trinity, I want to educate you to the burn your gut. Amen. Never was used by no prophet. Never. Never, never was used by Jesus. That's right. And it never was used by the apostle. That's right. The phrase Trinity was coined. Conjured up by the Catholic Church. That's right. You know why? They was too incompetent to define the Godhead. That's right. They couldn't explain it. They got confused when Jesus started out robbery. To be equal with God, yet he was man. They got confused. They got confused when Jesus said, when you see me, you yeah, see the Father. They got confused. That's right. They got confused when Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. I am. That's right. He couldn't put that stuff together for nothing. That's right. So they said, well, wait a minute. Jesus got baptized in Jordan. A voice spoke from heaven. Then a bird came. That's right. Jesus the voice the bird the devil whispered in the air and said it's the trinity <laughs> that's right that's right huh? they all said that, that's what it is that's right it's trinity. trinity God is three right the moment you say God is three you lie you lie because you limit God that's right you can't put a number on him. No. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Glory to God on high. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Your holy one. Your holy one. All right, viewers. Then why are you praying to more than one? That right. goes for some of you that are here. That's right. Get that picture out of your house of some hippie hanging on your wall. That's right. Who you think is Jesus. Amen. Get that picture out of your house of some woman. Thank God with a veil over her head with a picture of a cross looking sideways. That's right. You'll think that's Mary. You don't know who that is. No. Get that lie out of your house. That's right. Nobody can photograph God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. Nobody. That's right. Can someone say, well, why can't he? He said he's higher than heaven. Your lens can't reach there. That's right. He's deeper than hell. Yeah. He said, I'm broader than the sea. Than the earth. Glory to God. That's right. And longer right. Than, the earth. than the earth. He said, if I cut you off mm -hmm. and shut you up, right. who can hinder me? Right. Habakkuk said, from his mouth, right. go forth as arrows. arrows. And he said, from uh, uh, John says, his eyes is like a flame of fire. How can you put a number on God? One prophet said his voice, he had a small, still voice. Yeah. Another prophet said, sound like many waters. That's right. Another one said, it sound like thunder. Uh -huh. Another one said, it is as a lion roar. That's right. Nobody can photograph God. No. So you that come along trying to pray to the Holy Three. Holy Three. Please write me back and tell me which one of the three you're praying to. That's right. And which one of the three is answering your prayer. That's right. And which one of the three is coming back for the world. Amen. And when you write me and tell me which one of the three is coming back for the world, tell me what the other two going to be doing. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Because this is confusion, confusion in religion. Amen. The scriptures never taught three gods. No, it didn't. God says he is not the author of confusion. That's right. Listen. I am the Lord. I Give chapter and verse again. Still in Isaiah 43 and verse 15. We have to respect God's word above respecting organization. That's right. Let me say it again. We must respect God's word more 
Then when we respect organization. That's right. You see, a lot of us are more loyal to a religious organization right. than we are to scripture truth. That's right. And if you're more loyal to an organization than you are to scripture, when the truth comes, when it contradicts your organization, you will reject the scriptures. That's right. And say, well, in my church, we don't believe that. In my religion, we don't believe that. My pastor don't believe that. Wait a minute. Why are you talking like a fool? That's right. Your pastor, your church, your religion, supposed to be in here. That's right. If God says he's one, will you please tell me why you praying to more? To more. What did God say there? I am the Lord, your holy one. I am the Lord, your holy one. The creator of Israel, your king. The creator of Israel, your king. Isaiah 43 and verse 3. What is it? For I am the Lord thy God. Look at, look at God testifying. Do you see he's testifying? For I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy G-O-D-S. G-O-D. No, G-O-D-S. G-O-D. You better read it right. You got glasses. Do you need help? G-O-D. I am the Lord thy hey, God. And you that are here, why are you praying to more than one? I That's want right. you to write me. Please write me. Please. And after this meeting is over, if there's anybody here talking to more than one, when you come up, please shake my hand and explain to me why you're doing it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen to what he says. I am the Lord thy G-O-D. <laughs> Amen. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God. And what? The Holy One. The Holy Three. The Holy One. The Holy Five. The Holy One. The Holy One. Of Israel. Of Israel. Thy Savior. And what? Thy Savior. Is what? Thy Savior. Now, if he's the Savior. That's right. And we only got one Savior. One Savior. You got to get rid of the other two. That's right. Because you got too many. That's right. That's oh. claiming to be your savior. That's right. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Jesus said he the savior, and God says he's the savior there. So how many is that? One. One. That's well, right. you have to explain it. I'm on my way. On your way. Oh, it take God. I'm on my way. That's right. Before the name of God was introduced, mm -hmm. the title and the characteristics of God was introduced. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. God nature. Spirit. God nature. Immortal. God nature. Divine. God nature. Eternal. Everlasting. Perpetual. That's right. Have no beginning. Have no ending. Have no partners right. without father, That's right. without mother, yes. without brother, yes. without daughter. Yes. He have no kin. That's right. You can't attach no lineage to God. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. Isaiah, mm -hmm. Isaiah. chapter nine, mm -hmm. verse six. I want to lay some basic groundwork. Basic. And then dive into deep things. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. I want you to get this. For unto get us. Get chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. What is it? For unto us a child is born. It spoke present tense. Right. Like it happened right then. That's right. It was talking about the arrival of Jesus. Right. And Isaiah says under the inspiration of God. Unto us a child is born. But the child wasn't born there. That's right. That's right. There was prophecy about the arrival of Jesus, about his arrival. It says, is born. And what else? Unto us a son is given. Now you got the death of Jesus. That's right. Out of two statements. That's right. He's coming and he's gone. And, he's gone. and yet neither incident happened yet. That's right. He's talking about the arrival of a flesh and blood human being mm -hmm. and the departure of such. That's right. I want to break it to pieces as I go along. Listen. For what did it say there? For unto us a child is born. That's not God. Go ahead, brother. For God never was a child. That's right. Never. Now, for years, 
Preachers have said God became a man. Yeah. Listen at listen at what I'm about to tell you. You lied. That's right. The moment you say God became a man, you put a beginning to the existence of God. That's right. And you put age on God. God never became a man. No. I'm going to go to the scripture that you got in your mind right now, Reverend. I'm going to go to that scripture. Amen. And we're going to define what word means. Mm-hmm. What did the prophet Isaiah say? Run to us a child is born. That's not talking about God. For God has no mother. That's right. Catholics, Catholics, get what I'm telling you. Mary never was the mother of God. Never. God is eternal. And if Mary was the mother of God, that would make her in existence before God. That's for right. the mother exists before the child. That's right. I want to break it to pieces. That's right. If Mary was the mother, it ain't none of us here exist before our mama. No. Did anybody here pull that off? So if Mary is the mother of God, that will make Mary eternal with an eternal womb. That's right. Amen. That's true. I want to soak you a little. That's right. And show you the ignorance of creation. Amen. God never had a mother. Never had a mother. God fulfilled all space and that which is not space. That's right. He's above all heavens. Mm -hmm. The universe cannot contain God. That's right. God is bigger than the universe. universe. God is beyond the universe. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want to soak you a little. Go ahead. When you say God, there is no ethnic group that can claim him. That's right. God never was a Jew. Never. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Not God. Not God. God never was a Jew. Never. never. Glory to God. Amen. The reason why no ethnic group can lay claim on him, there is no ethnicity to spirit. That's right. None. That's right. Someone say, well, how is that? Because spirit exists before man. That's right. That's when right. man comes into being, he's identified with the ethnic group. That's right. But if you have a source here mm-hmm. before man, before man. You can't connect him to no ethnic group. God is not a man. God is not a man. Amen. What did it say in chapter verse? In Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. And then let's balance. Amen. With the prophet Isaiah. Mm-hmm. What did the give chapter and verse again? Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. What is it? God is not a man. Amen. But what did Isaiah say? For unto us a child is born. And what else? For unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is given. And what did Balaam say? God is not a man. And what did Isaiah say? Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And what did Balaam say? God is not a man. And what did Isaiah say? Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And what did Balaam say? God is not a man. And if God was not a man. Amen. And John said that the birth of Jesus was the arrival of a man child. Man child. That's right. Then God was never born. That's right. God is not a man, neither the son of man. God is not the son of a man. That's right. So God is without father, without without mother, Mm -hmm. without beginning, Mm -hmm. and without ending. Right. Child is Is born. born. Here you have the introduction of the name of God. Go ahead, brother. Jesus. Where did this name come from? And did Jesus exist before a child was born? 
That's right. And Where I, did this name come from? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, and at verse 17. Listen. Thou, O Lord, art our Father. Thou, O Lord, art our what? Our Father. And then I want to get Jesus when he said, when you see me. Right. I got to explain that. Right. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I just got to dissect that. Got to, that's right. Huh? Listen at this good. Thou, O Lord, art, art our Father. Thou, O Lord, thou art our Father. Our Redeemer. Our Redeemer. Thy name. Thy name. Is from everlasting. Amen. Amen. If his name is from everlasting, from everlasting, his name had no beginning. That's right. His name always was. That's right. That's right. Because he said from everlasting to everlasting thou art God. Thou art God. And if from everlasting to everlasting thou art God, Preacher. everything that was connected Preacher. to him was from everlasting to everlasting. That's right. His name, Hallelujah. his power, That's right. everything. That's right. That's right. 